Hi and welcome to a number six of my Printing with Random Kitchen Utensil series. If you're new here, I am Claire, mixed media and jelly print artist based in country New South Wales, Australia. Make sure you go back and check the others in the series and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any others. So today I'm printing with a heat mat. You know, one of those things that you put underneath your hot pots and whatnot. Uh, it's got a really cool texture on it, a nice little sort of honeycomb effect. Uh, which I thought was really, really cool when I saw it in the uh, secondhand shop. So I thought I would try it out and see what happens. Um, so first off, I'm trying something a little bit new. I'm going for a half and half you kind of look. So half of just a regular stamp where I pull off the paint and then the other half, the paint is going on. So any paint that's on the stamp is going onto the other half so our piece of paper will end up being sort of a half negative effect if that makes sense I'm not sure if it does but yeah you know what I mean <laughs> so I'm just using it as a stamp stamping it in the paint pulling off the paint off one side stamping it into the other side to get that really cool honeycomb effect pattern and wibbly wobbling my camera in the process. <laughs> wibble wobble wibble wobble. Okay, I've let it dry for a little bit. Um, this sort of effect, you do need to let it dry quite a bit because the paint is fairly thick on that top half. Uh, so you do need to let it dry enough to keep that pattern intact. Otherwise, you'll lose all of that lovely texture if you don't let it dry enough. So I'm using the white and uh, oh, it looks like what I've done here is tried to just do the bottom half, keeping that top half wet. Is that what I've done? Oh, and then I decided, hey, let's just do the whole lot. So <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, that's the problem with, with doing these voiceovers later on down the track is that I forget what I've done. So yeah, you can see I didn't leave that top half to dry as long. Uh, so it's pulled out some of that blue paint uh, over the whole thing. So we'll see how it comes out. Okay, pulling the print. How nice is that? Look how cool that is. That came out so awesome. So the top half, because it wasn't as dry as the bottom half, is not as obvious a texture, but that bottom half is really cool. Really strong texture design on that. Fantastic. All right, what's next? Left a little bit of grunge behind uh, from that print. So our next one's going to pick up that as well, which is great. And we're mixing a bit of blue onto the white that's still on the palette plate and we'll see what happens. Okay, nice pale blue underlay first. Nice even color. Okay, here is my beautiful mat. And again, I'm squishing that pattern into that underlay and it will take off some of that paint to create that pattern. So I'm doing quite an intense squish there. There you go. So it's picked up a fair bit of paint to leave behind that pattern and I'm rubbing that paint off on a piece of paper uh, off camera. And again, squishing it down quite heavy to make sure I get a good amount of texture from the, oh, no, there we go, yeah. Keep that pattern straight. Squish, 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 nice and strong. Get that pattern in really, really heavy. The good thing about jelly plates is because the plate itself is fairly squishy, you can actually put a fair bit of pressure onto that plate um, to create the indents 
And keep it straight, keep it straight. Am I gonna go straight? Straight, straight it up. Oh, yeah, there we go. Well done. <laughs> the, I listen to myself. Isn't that good? All right, squish that in. Squish, squish, squish. And up it comes. And I've got some really cool uh, circular overlays there. A little bit like a Venn diagram. Pretty cool. Like it. I like it. All right. Let's see what it looks like when it's pulled. Okay. That looks so awesome. I love that texture. And look how much awesome grunge that's left behind. That's really cool. I need to find a better word than cool. I say cool an awful lot. So much beautiful grunge. Look at it all. Love it, love it, love it. All right, what shall I do next, I'm saying? Gold. We love the gold. And you can hear my cat in the background. Right, he's come to say hello. Hello, Mr. Cat. <laughs> I love the way that metallic paint mixes in with the more fluid paints. It just seems to create such an interesting mix. Beautiful, beautiful mix. So I'm using that lovely mix of the uh, metallic and what was left over on the palette just to pick up that leftover grunge. And I can tell that already that's a little bit. I am so in love with that. Look how beautiful that texture is, that colour, the metallic shine and ha oh, ha that is so oh look at it all it's so fabulous I love it I love it I love it now I've got some beautiful papers I've actually used some of these already, so I've only got scraps of some of them but you can see what I've used them for creating these beautiful book covers They've just come out so fantastic. I'm so so pleased at how well they come out. So join us next time and uh, see what else we print with. Uh, you never know what's going to come up next. Make sure you click on that subscribe button and uh, we'll see you next time.